Now, this single device solved three major problems I've had with my M4 Mac Mini. And in this video, I will be showing you exactly how. Now, this is the Orico Mini Pro chassis stand. It is designed specifically for the M4 Mac Mini. Here is what you get in the box. The Mini Pro stand itself, a connector cable, a screwdriver, and a screw. Now, what instantly caught my attention is the build quality of this device. It is made from the same premium aerospace aluminum as my Mac Mini, and even the color matches perfectly, still keeping that solid and premium feel right on my working desk. There are also precise cutouts on all sides, so every port and vent of my Mac Mini remains fully accessible. And still on the design, once you pop out the base plate by pulling out this section here, you are going to notice four cushion holders inside. Now these soft parts are designed to protect your Mac Mini from scratches when you are placing it inside the stand. And they also help to keep it firmly in place so that when you are plugging in accessories or you are moving it around, your Mac Mini stays rock solid, no shaking, no sliding. Now let's talk about the very first problem that this accessory solved for me, and that is making the power button way more accessible. Now, in my original review, I didn't really highlight it as a major issue for me because it depends on how often you get to reach out to it to press it. For most people, it is often. For others, it isn't. But with this stand, that is no longer a struggle. The button is much easier to access and it makes that subtle but noticeable difference in my daily use. And then also, it elevates my Mac Mini in the sense that normally it sits flush against the table, which kind of like limits airflow when I'm working with it. But this stand gives the fan enough breathing space to actually do its job, which is to keep the device as cool as possible. Now, the second problem we solved for me is the fact that I can now use USB-A ports or cords like this one, or even this um, receiver that comes with my keyboard, I can now plug it directly to my Mac Mini without having to use a standard docks like this, which at times can clutter or inconvenience my working space. And that is because by default, the Mac Mini doesn't come with any USB-A ports or even a micro SD card reader. But with the Orico stand, and I have direct access to both of them. And even my memory card from my camera can be connected directly to my Mac Mini. And that is really convenient. Now, the third and probably the biggest problem that this Mini Pro stand from Orico sought for me has to be storage. If you ask me, this is still one of the biggest limitations of Apple's Mac Mini, the M4 Mac Mini, because everyone loves it, not just because it has a very portable design, which is very good, but also because it offers very good value for money. For just $600 or thereabout, you're getting 16 gigabytes of unified memory and a powerful M4 chip from Apple. But the moment you try to upgrade your internal storage, it gets crazy expensive. You have to spend an extra $400 to get up to one terabyte or $800 to get up to two terabytes. But the Mini Pro stand completely changed all of that, yeah? because it comes with an NVMe SSD enclosure built in it that supports up to eight terabyte of storage. And I personally also installed a two terabyte NVMe SSD from Orico, which is this one right here. And it cost me just $94, which is a complete steal when you compare it to Apple's pricing. Installing it was very straightforward. You just unscrew the base, align the SSD with the timer cooling frame that it comes with, slot it in, and then screw the enclosure back. Then you want to connect both of them using the connector cable that comes in the package. And just like that, you're done. And if you are concerned about the read and write speeds, well, you don't have to be because the NVMe SSD supports up to 3,000 megabytes per second. So that means you can edit 4K videos off the drive very fast. You can transfer large files in seconds without experiencing any noticeable lag. It basically feels like an internal storage, just that it is way more affordable than what Apple would normally give you. Now, with everything assembled, I just had to power on my Mac Mini and then format the SSD using these simple steps, and that is it. Now, what is the best part in all of this? This mini pro stand you see here costs just $199, and this two terabyte SSD from Orico, like I said, cost me just $94, which means for under just $300, I've been able to add two terabytes super fast storage to my Mac mini. 
which amounts to about $500 saved compared to if I was upgrading directly from Apple. So if you are using the Apple M4 Mac Mini from 2024, then this definitely might just be the very best accessories you should be getting right now. I will be leaving links in the description of this video if you want to grab one for yourself. And yeah, those links are actually affiliate links. So please use them so you can support the channel at no extra cost to you. So that is it. Everything you need to know about this Mini Pro from Orico. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. We get to talk about it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.